Hi, my name is Ryan Corey. I'm a freshman at Carnegie Mellon, and this is my term project for 15-112, Intro to Programming. And what I did was I made a game using an RC car, um, an Arduino, and OpenCV. And basically, I opened up the, uh, the stock remote control, and I soldered in leads to the various commands. So there's the one for forwards, there's backwards, left and right. And then I took those leads and I put them into an Arduino. And after that, I used a um, Arduino pro prototyping API to transfer commands from my computer and then put them out through the remote control to the car. And let's see, so after, once I established control of the car, I used OpenCV to kind of track the car and use it and interface it with my game. Um, basically, I used this webcam to to get a live video feed, um, it's just a lot easier and allows for um, it to be placed separately on the computer so the user can still use the screen in a comfortable location and still see the car. Um, and basically, I used uh, the screen tape and I set up an HSV filter um, to pick up where the green tape was and after using various um, filtering, morphology, thresholding, contour finding functions in OpenCV, I could determine where the car was uh, within the picture and get that X and Y pixel. And from that, I could use it to uh, do different things within my game. And so now I'll walk you through the gameplay. Alrighty, and now we'll walk through my code quickly. So here I just import all the modules that I use. And these are where I have all of my Arduino level um, instructions. Um, basically, I use set high, the set high and set low method to, from the Arduino prototyping API to change the outputs on the Arduino. Um, and those basically correspond to left, right, forward, and backward. Um, then I use a car class to store all the information about the car so that I can get the speed and position and things like that. And after, I have a bunch of drawing functions that I use. Um, basically display information to the user while they're playing the game. And then next I have my actual game function. Um, so here I use variables to store a lot of the dimensions for drawing. And then um, after that I use uh, wow loops to show different screens. So this would be an instruction screen. And I have this key pressed here using the wait key method. And basically depending on the key pressed um, it'll either skip to the next screen or do something. And so that's pretty much the code. So let's run it and I'll show you what it looks like. And so basically the first screen, um, it tells you how to position the camera so that you can play the game. Um, we'll press C to continue. And this tells you how to drive the car. And so this gives you the instructions. So um, basically, it tells you how to play the game. You want to keep the car in between the arrow or in between the red circles, and then um, maybe drive quickly and keep your speed in the green. Um, basically, we use a gradient to make the red change to green. A little cool effect. And then you know, pretty much press S to begin. So we'll go ahead and start playing. And you can see the car is going. Oh, I got a score penalty. I'm outside of the circle, so the, the two circles. So I get this message that tells me that I'm getting a score penalty. And then here I press S to stop. So uh, you can see I'm getting a score penalty because my speed isn't where it needs to be. Um, and so basically that's how you play the game. You just keep trying to drive around and not get uh, score penalties. And for the sake of time, I'm going to skip to the next screen. And so here it gives you your score. It says, congrats, you survived RC Car Golf. Uh, your score was 237. And press escape to quit. And so that's my project. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And yeah, that's it.